What's up, YouTube? This is going to be your guide on how to use King Gambit in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This Pokemon has a thumping attack stat and many options on the physical side. I'll be doing some competitive movesets and I'll be doing some fun meme movesets as well. If there is a Pokemon moveset you'd like me to do, please leave it below in the comment section. If you want to support this series by dropping a like there, that would be awesome. And if you've got anything to add to my movesets or you've got some movesets of your own that you think work well, leave them below in the comment section too. Like everyone's opinions are very much welcome here we all like to use different uh different pokemon builds and stuff like that all right let's get started here people i've got this king gambit we're going to go over a couple of physical movesets here so i'm starting things off with the ev spread of max health and max attack i mean when you look at its health 100 base and attack 135 and then you've got a defense 120 so very very bulky pokemon um, I've got probably my favorite build coming up as well, but these ones are very nice too. So I'm going to start off with the Choice Band set. Now, there's lots of physical items you could probably use here. Now, with this set, we've got uh, Brick Break. We've got Zen Headbutt, Sucker Punch, and Iron Head. Now, Brick Break is just nice for coverage, of course, against other Dark-type Pokemon, uh, Normal-type Pokemon, uh, things like that. Uh, you've got Zen Headbutt there too, and this is good for Fighting-type Pokemon. Uh, it's going to be super effective. It also has a Flinch Chance. You probably won't be outspeeding too much with this with 50 base speed, so it's more there just to hit like a uh, fighting type Pokemon. Now, since it's so slow, it's imperative to have Sucker Punch on a, uh, a physical uh, King Gambit there. You really, really need it. It's just so slow Pokemon. You also got um, its signature move as well, uh, Kowtow Cleave. That could definitely work. You could even double them up if you really wanted to. Uh, if, if, like, if you really want to double them up, um, I'd probably pick one over the other though. But uh, Kowtow Cleave is a very nice move too. 85 base power and it doesn't miss. So a nice, you know, nice move there. Obviously, Iron Head is always handy as well. You've got that 80 base power and a 30% chance of flinch there. Now, some other items I thought you could run on this. Uh, this would be pretty interesting as well, is uh, Choppleberry. Now, obviously, it's four. To I know that it's four times a week to uh, obviously fighting, but with it's such huge health and defense, it's going to be able to live fighting moves on the first go reasonably well. So this could give you some good surprise, say, you know, a, a powerful fighting type comes in and you live it really, really well. And you can bang them back with a nice sand headbutt. And if it doesn't KO them, you know, it's going to do a lot of damage, right? They're fighting type. And you could possibly, you know, finish them off with a sucker punch there or even get a swap. So that's kind of nice as well. Um, you could definitely run Life Orb on it too. That's a, that's another very uh, versatile item and sort of frees you up there. Obviously, um, I'm going to have this as a sword dancing set too. So we got sword dance here. Sword dance sucker punch is, uh, you know, the bread and butter for Bishop always really has been there and you know, works the same as uh, King Gambit. Now, this could definitely work too. You've got a sucker punch and sword dance. You've got Iron Head here as well. And you can give it Terra Dark as well. Like, Terra Dark Sucker Punch would be, like, really, really nice. Like, really, really good. Now, speaking of Terra, you could also give it Terra Blast too. Obviously, you'd just be swapping Dark around. I was thinking, like, just for, just for a bit of fun, you could actually do Terra Ghost. That could be another option here as well. Now, I know it doesn't give the best coverage, but this is more surprise, right? So someone comes in, oh, obviously they're going to use a fighting move. You tear it into Ghost and then you get around it. Um, you could you, know, you have a powerful ghost type attack, but most of the time, it's not going to be the greatest coverage. Is this going to save your bacon against a fighting, like a 1v1 fighting matchup, which could change the course of the battle there. The thing, the problem with that is, is uh, you know, the coverage and stuff isn't the greatest there. Uh, just try to think of some more items here. I mean, for, you could also have Lumberry, but you probably won't need to be worrying about that, like, too much being getting burned and stuff like that. Um, you know, you're a dark type, so you don't have to worry about any uh, pranks to Pokemon. So, any fire type Pokemon coming in, yeah, you're pretty much going to get wrecked there. I mean, it does have a couple of, uh, like, uh, items here for fire type. Um, we, we have Stone Edge on it. But, uh, yeah, it, 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 that, that, that can be a bit shaky at the best of times there. And most of the time, you're probably going to get out sped. So, I wouldn't be using this too much against fighting. You could, you could tear a... You could tear a rock if you really, really were scared of uh, fire-type Pokemon as well. Um, you obviously, you can get rid of Stone Edge for something else. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's another option you could do there. So, another thing I was thinking, too, you could make, like... Actually, we'll save that for the second one. We'll, we'll go into the second one now. Just getting all my thoughts at the moment. So this is a pretty cool set. We've got Assault Vest here. So I've run this set. It works very, very well. And when you 
add that extra layer of assault vest uh, onto its special defense, it becomes a absolute beast all round. So it can take lots and lots of hits, right? Now you could definitely swap a Define and a Supreme Overlord around there, uh, depending on, of course, what you've got on your team. But uh, Supreme Overlord's like such a good ability, you know, getting that uh, nice 10% each uh, fainted teammate. So, uh, yeah, I'd be going with that pretty much most of the time. So, on this set, I've got Assault Vest. We've got Shadow Claw. I've got the Ghost on there, too. You could definitely uh, change it up, too. I've got Stone Edge, and I've got Iron Head. So, they all work pretty nicely here. Say if I was to swap stuff up on this set. All right, we're just going to have a look at some of its moves here. So, you could probably put Brick Break on there. That would be nice for Steel-type Pokemon. Like, Brick Break has just, like, got the good coverage. You've also got, like, a low kick option here as well. Like, like real, like, heavy targets. That could be a nice one as well uh, to put on there. But Brick Break is, you know, pretty nice all around there. And uh, you can destroy the screens with it as well, which is very handy. So, you can get around any, like, annoying screen uh, Pokemon. Now... Actually, I'll go on to the other move in a second. You've got Night Slash as well, but look, it, it, it it's kind of our class. Unless you're really running something that, you know, boosts critical hits and stuff like that, or going more gimmick, you're looking towards uh, Sucker Punch and uh, Kowtow Cleave, basically. Uh, they're the moves you want to be using most there. Everything else is, I'm just looking through everything else, it's it's kind of gimmick. So they're the main moves you want to be using on it, uh, in my uh, in my opinion. Uh, just looking at some more items here. You've got like stuff like heavy duty boots, but that's not really going to matter uh, you know, too much there. Um, you could even, I was thinking you could, th this is just something I'm making right on the spot here. You could even go like a super like, I was thinking like, you give it like Rocky Helmet and Stealth Rock. It could be a nice, like, um, like lead here. And you could give it a couple of, uh, just, like, like generate coverage moves and stuff like that, which could work nicely, too. So, you give it something like this. So, suck a bunch of Iron Heat, and you've also got Stealth Rock. And you could also use it, like, a, a nice, like, bulky swap in for Rocky Helmet damage, too. That could work nicely. I could definitely see that one working, too. Now, let's have a look at this. We've got a flying uh, Terror Blast here. So... Quite often, obviously, you see fighting type moves a lot. So this is another way to get around it with Terra Flying, which would be kind of cool. But once again, you're a little bit sus on the coverage for using. It's more for that 1v1, you know, winning that 1v1. So Terra Blast into Flying. Um, you've also got Substitute as well, so you could set a possible uh, sub up and then go for Sword Dance. You've got Leftovers as an item too. So, you know, Sword Dance and Leftovers. And then you could Sucker Punch, which is going to be kind of... Uh, Kind of cool, actually. So you can get around like a, a lot of sort of stuff there. But if you weren't running a substitute set and you just wanted to go for the flying one, so you got that flying, right? So then you're going to be starting to, you know, getting like opening yourself up for extra weaknesses and stuff like that. So you obviously want to be having Iron Head too. So then you'd have, uh, you'd probably have, like, I'd, I'd probably put something like this on, like Stone Edge, Iron Head. It, it depends if you want Sword Dance, though. Like, if you really want Sword Dance, you could use that as well and just, you know, uh, Coattail Cleave or Sucker Punch, one of those two. But uh, I think that could be interesting as well, like a Substitute Sword Dance set. You could hide behind the sub, you know, you get the... Essentially, you could get your swap. Just swap it in at the right time when you know the opponent really can't do much there and you can pretty much go for it there with a uh, Sucker Punch. And also, say, if you do fail... The opponent predicts you going for Sucker Punch. Well, they can't really do too much to you um, there. You just have to watch out for any sound-based moves like a Torch Song, which would absolutely torch you. Let's have a look at this one here. we got a Psychic one. I've got this as a Psychic Terror. So I'm sort of working through a couple of different Terrors here. Uh, you know, I'm sort of going off uh, the Sword Dance and Assault Vest one. I like the best. Uh, they, were, they were pretty cool. I was thinking about running like a Choice Scarf one, but it's just, it's just too slow. It, it's just not fast enough. You're better off for just relying on Sucker Punch there uh, at the right time. So we got Life Orb. Uh, we got Stone Edge, Brick Break, Sucker Punch, and Terror, uh, Terror Psychic. Now, this is pretty interesting when you look at it. Um, as for the Muslin. So say you turn yourself into a Psychic. Well, straight away now you're weak to Dark, right? So you've got Brick Break for Dark types, which is uh, kind of nice as well. And then if a Bug type comes in, you've got Stone Edge for Bug, which is kind of cool too. So you've got lots of uh, different sort of coverage. Make yourself able to hit other Pokemon there as well. So let's have a look at uh, a couple of meme moves. Here. Once again, if you've got anything to add, I'm sure there's lots of other sets you could do there, but I'm sort of just trying to cover the most... Um, you know, the, 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 the most dominant sets and move sets you're going to see on uh, these Pokemon here. So this one is a metal sound set. It's a special one. Having a look at King Gambit's, uh, you know, thumping special attack stat, uh, I've given it max health and max special attack modest nature. So that's it. It's a, uh, you know, with 60 base power, 
Yeah, it's, it's very powerful. So we've got Metal Sound here. It's going to drop the opponent's special defense by two, and it's also going to activate Throat Spray. Then you've got Steel Beam with 140 base power. If that's a neutral hit, it's going to do, like, enormous amounts of damage if they don't swap. Even... Even at a swap, it's going to do uh, you know a fair bit there, just due to its uh, massive uh, you know base power there. Obviously, you got to watch when you use that because you're going to lose a lot of your health. I've also given it uh, Dark Pulse as well, just for some uh, coverage, and I've also given it Terra Flying too. So Terra Flying is more of like a little surprise set. And since it's not like a physical one, I've given it Pressure, so using up a little bit more of the PP. So we got uh, like I was thinking like another one too. You can run like a, a, a like a really bulky set. This would be nice as a defensive wall to like pure, like, I'm just thinking like pure defensive wall. Like, look at that. 404 health, 372. So, um, that, that, that's really nice. That's a very, very nice defensive set. So, I'm thinking like a, uh, a rest sleep talk set. This could work nicely on a sand team too. I'm just thinking like, say you had, let me delete that for a second. Um, say you had like Tyranitar. That could work really nicely on, on this, on the sand team too. Um, I was thinking like some swap-ins as well some good like teammates you got tyranitar um any ghost type pokemon that are good swappings there like this is a put like this is a really really good swap in here as well like you've got um skelleridge uh skelledurge sorry i was messed that up skelledurge and seraledge i think i put uh skelly and a uh, seraledge to the, together there so this has got flash fire and it's also a ghost type so what a nice swap in for um you know, what a nice swap in for King Gambit, you know. It's got Flash Fire and it's a Ghost Type. So nothing will really be hitting it too hard there. Um, the only thing you're going to worry about is ground, you know, it being a Ghost Type and stuff. So you have to be sort of careful uh, swapping it into that. I'm also going to have a look at some other stuff here, like other Ghost Type Pokemon, which would, you know, work kind of nicely. Um, so these ones here, same with like, this would be pretty good here. So you could have probably, if you had an Air Balloon Pokemon, that'd be kind of nice too. Um, if, if you're running air balloon on these, but yeah, any, any ghost type Pokemon just coming in there would be uh, very handy. Like a nice one here, like an actual, absolutely nice one here would be Miss Magius. It's also got levitate too. So you can get around like, um, any ground type moves and it's got nice, uh, like bulky special defense too. So you could probably live like a flamethrower or a fire blast, you know, stuff like that. I, I think would work very, very well, uh, as teammates, uh, as for counters, I mean, it's pretty easy, like. You know, like, it's a fighting... Like, let's look at these fighting type Pokemon. So any fighting type are really going to destroy it. Um, if the you know, if the opponent does try to troll and uh, change their terror type there, that is... Obviously, that can be a thing, but it can be worked around. It's a, it's a slow Pokemon. Let me, let me sum it up real quick, right? This is a slow... It's, it's got great bulk, great attack. It does heavily rely on Sucker Punch to do damage, though. Like, to outspeed and do damage. So that's... A weakness with this Pokemon, and you obviously you need to exploit that, right? Because it's very, very slow. Just chip and wear it down, basically. And uh, yeah, if you if you can make some good predictions there, um, don't let it get any sword dances up so ever. So if you see any, like oh, I was thinking another little thing here, like people might try and do this too. You've got Shed Tail Pokemon like Cyclozar and Orthwarm. Uh, these Pokemon uh, could work uh, all right with it as well. Like you could pass a. For example, you could have Shed Tail here. This could pass off a Shed Tail and then get it off to uh, King Gambit. Or you could do like, I like, you know, for Shed Tail Pokemon, just going a little bit off topic here, but I, I still think it's a little bit relevant. For Shed Tail Pokemon, I like Orthworm because it's, it's, it's kind of slow. So when you build a bulky, it goes second and then you can get your substitute off second. I know it is taunt bait, but um, you know if you can get that shed tail off and get it onto like uh, a sword dancing, a sword dancing set, you can get a free sword dance up and just cause all kinds of nightmares for the opponent. With that attack stat after a sword dance, it's going to be doing heaps of damage, and you may even have a you know supreme overlord uh, boost as well. So that's how I'd probably run it too. So sword dance and uh, or a, another a supporting shed tail Pokemon work very very nicely, but. Uh, Extremely good Pokemon, very powerful ability, lots of potential uh, for this Pokemon. It's got such a high attack stat. Also, I have to touch on this too. Um, I have a couple of people saying like about Bisharp and Everlight. Uh, like with its bulk, okay. So with its bulk and stuff like that, there's not too much point in using Everlight Bisharp over us, like 
over a normal King Gambit, in my opinion. The, the bulk is almost the same. If, if anything, I think King Gambit's a little bit more bulky. I'm just looking at, like, right now off the top of my head. There's not a lot of difference there. And, you, and you're stuck in using Everlight, too. So, if you're just going for bulk, just use King Gambit. You don't need to worry about, like, Bishop and stuff like that. It's, it's in my opinion, it's nowhere near as good. Um, yeah, just, just, in, just in terms of bulk and stuff like that, you're better off just using uh, King Gambit. But anyway, people, I, I've done a couple of uh, competitive sets here. I've done some fun sets here. Uh, suggested a couple of teammates that would work nicely. Suggested how to beat it. Lots of sort of stuff like that. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm very, very tired making this video too, so I, I hope I didn't make uh, any any Pokemon name mess-ups or anything like that. And yeah, if you've got any suggestions, put them below in the comment section. I'm going to go get some sleep because it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. All right, people. Peace out.